first of all you played your favorite opening the knight or right and after bishop e3 knight g4 uh, you can see my screen right see yeah yeah i can see your okay. screen so here uh, he went bishop g5 yeah bishop g3 bishop g7 h3 knight e5 and we got to know that all this has happened before in your game against Anish P. Yeah, he was the first one to introduce this G takes up three. It was a blitz game, but uh, Anish always has so so many ideas that he, he can throw them out in in blitz games. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so the game continued. Uh, um, I deviated. Takes. I came with queen f6 did you did you prepare this line before the game did you have it in your memory or you had to work really hard hard to recollect all the analysis no i mean i thought about the position i i knew a few things but i decided to to look at it from a fresh perspective so, so i played queen f6 this is the first new move because last time you had gone queen d4 right yeah queen d4 is really not not a great move hmm. but there are many options for black obviously Right, so queen f6. Anyway, queen f6. Bishop. Bishop g2, knight g4. Well, I don't remember. Yeah, you played yeah. He, uh, rook d8 here. But uh, yeah, yeah. how do you assess this position overall? Do you think black is doing fine? The computer seems to give white uh, an edge here. Do you agree with it or you think it's too complicated? It's just very concrete. So, like... Um, it depends on whether white activates his bishops, especially the bishop on g3, because if I get e5 in, you know, in decent conditions, maybe even here I could have played e5. And yeah, there's no, there's nice history there probably. I'm not sure, but um, but anyway, yeah, uh, if I get e5 in good conditions, then I'm absolutely fine. So that's why after rook d8 was replayed f4. Yeah. Yeah. And after knight g4, uh, I was wondering whether I should have taken first on f4. Uh, but anyway, like bishop f4, knight g4, because he, he cannot castle right now because of queen f4. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he can castle, yeah. His king hasn't moved. Right. So anyway, uh, but this would be slightly better for for him, so again, I, I wanted to play knight d4 first just to to let him sweat a bit with his bishop on g3. Right, so f4, knight d4. And I missed his knight e3, but after that I saw up all the way until the first row. Although, I mean, he avoided the first row with knight e3, but I think that was... Well, not the best idea. I mean, knight e3 later on. So, so you so saw until which point now? Context pawn? Knight g4. Uh, basically until uh, until he had a choice of so queen d4, queen okay. d1. He can't really go to the c5, so he does this. And after queen a2, king f3, queen b3. At first I was afraid I missed something because the queen b3 does king e4. And here queen c2 would just king f4, I think. Right. Because now after e5, knight e5, uh, he can go back to e3 with his king after castle but i have uh i have e5 in also this is, uh, oh knight f6 also also king is three right. but knight f6 man. but king is three is fine so anyway but here there's e5 which is very 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 strong this you, you maybe uh, saw you saw it beforehand that e5 yeah is... and the difference of course is if you play king takes up four with white instead of king e4 no, e5 just wins. Knight e5, castle. And if king g4, queen e6 is mate. And if king e4, d5 also is mate. Wow. So, so the point D5 is, is uh, that if you go king e4, uh, now um, check. Well, maybe, ah, maybe okay. e5 is not the only way, but. Correct. Got it. Yeah, here's the king. Goes back okay. to e3 and e3. Okay, that is the thing. The king has the e3 square, while when the queen is on yes, b3. and after pawn takes d5, bishop d5 just wins. 
amazing. So, but anyway, Wester went knight e three, so I expected king e two at this point. But if I knight uh, instead of knight e three, king e two, and you would have taken the draw. With the yeah, I don't think I have a choice. Hmm. Okay. So knight e three. Yeah, knight e three, and then uh, you play, uh, here rook f eight. Yeah. And this was this was amazing because uh, we're thinking which piece would you take here. Uh, I mean, uh, or e5, sorry, you have to, you can't yeah. take a piece because the chat is hanging. Yeah, no, here's, there's a funny line because at first I wanted castle. Ah. With the idea of getting my king out of the center, but here bishop f4. So now if e5, queen d5 is check, but I wanted rook f4. Yeah, e5, queen d5 is fine for uh, white, but rook. Yeah, so instead of instead e5, I wanted rook f4 check. Right. But here's just king f4. If queen e5, f4, and... then rook f8 is fine for you. I think winning, yeah, winning. just winning. Uh, a pawn is too strong. So he plays king f4, and now e5, e5 and, and king g3. g3. Ooh, because if you take here, there is bishop. Yeah, this I almost missed. Wow. It's beautiful. So, so anyway, um, yeah, so. Then I decided in favor of rook f8. So bishop f4, uh, yeah, bishop f4 e5 would be much better for me. Right. And after bishop h4, there was another huge line to calculate. So I go e5, queen e3, pawn takes e3. And here at first I thought king g3 was a blunder because I have queen g8 check. Yeah. But there goes king h2. Mm -hmm. Rook f4, queen b7, rook h4, and here bishop d5. So I cannot go queen f8 because of bishop c6, and after queen g6, uh, rook g1, I have, well, maybe I have a draw with rook h3, but that's certainly all I can hope for. And I'm not even sure, I mean, but... Wow. Yeah, these calculations so, are unbelievable. And you saw, you saw this uh, at which point? Like, which point did you uh, see? Well, at the moment work? of deciding uh, after you play King G3. Okay. okay. So King G3, now you wanted first to give a check, but then you saw this line, so you took on F2. Yeah, King H2. So here I wasn't sure, but I wanted really to open the second rank. Um, plus I win one tempo, so I thought it's worth worth the huge pawn on F2. But um, at the same time, I'm not doing much with it, so just decided to open the second rank. Mm. Also, I missed that um, uh, after Bishop takes Rook C8, Bishop G2, I don't have anything forcing to to exchange the queens or anything. You mean this, yeah, f1? Yeah, f1, bishop takes. Do, do you think that uh, white should take with the rook or the bishop? What no, be... certainly not. Certainly not. not. You, have to keep the, you have to keep the rooks to, to, okay. put, to put me pressure. under pressure. Right. My king is my king is not safe. His, his king is much safer than mine. Mm. Okay. Mm. And also I have four points, so four points is too much because then I can give up a rook for a bishop and I'm always going to be better. Correct. So anyway, rook c8, bishop g2, and um, yeah, rook g8, he went rook g1, and at first I wanted uh, rook c2, but there's queen h7. Yes, queen h7, threatening. Yes, because I don't have queen f7. Then you might have to make pass. a draw after taking this. Well, I'm not even sure I get to draw there, but I mean, probably, but anyways, this clear was not my plan. Mm. So and then I sort of panicked because rook c4 was apparently strong, but I missed queen d I mean, I didn't know what to do after queen d5. Looks maybe simply rook g6 here. Right, right. But it's much easier to do this. Uh, from the analysis board. Agreed. 
Uh, so, so yeah, I decided to go for Uxitu. I thought it was safe in a way. You, you're in uh, no, G7? not Uxitu. Uxitu. Well, Rook G7, yeah, yeah, Rook G7. And Rook F7, yeah, this was not safe at all. No, Rook C2 was later. Um, so I went Queen G4. There I missed, I mean, I missed the line because I saw Queen C4, of course, because all I want is to exchange Queens, but I missed something there. Maybe, maybe simply that after Queen G8, I have King G7. I don't remember exactly what I missed. But, mm -hmm. Yeah, after King G7, it's over. Because if Rook F8, there is Queen G6 and the game still goes on. So here, yeah, King yeah. D7 was a good move. Yeah. Yeah. So you played rook c2 here, and then Wesley yeah. got some counterplay, queen g8, king d7. <clears throat> yeah, I thought he should play queen d8. I mean, it would be, but bishop h4 was very nice try. Uh, king e6, bishop Please. h4 or something. This way. I mean, uh, well, it's hard to be sure about these positions. Maybe I have queen a4 here, or queen b5. It can go already one way or another, this position. Right, absolutely. So when he played bishop h4, we were thinking like, oh, rook f3 is such a cool move because there's a mate here, but there's so little time on the clock. I don't think Maxim will find. And you played it, you know, that was really cool. Okay. Yeah, it was really born out of necessity. I have to, to get a safe square for my king. So that's all I got. I went for it, mm. and then yeah, after queen d8, king c6, bishop g3, I was very happy to find queen e6 because now my my king is very safe. Right. And yeah, right. also I kind of yeah. missed rook b1, but this was just a a big blunder. Yeah. Now it's a, it's very poetic <laughs> end because the two rooks take the two bishops and it's all over. Like one rook yeah. takes this and takes this. And if here Wesley resigned, but if yeah, I think it was impossible that you know we don't. I mean, uh, with ten seconds on the clock for for both of us, I mean it was doomed to happen. Some some sort of blunder. So I'm very happy. I, I wasn't the one, but it was a very tense game. It, it was amazing. I would say this is one of the best. You know, people have started making the best games of the year videos and all of that. But this one has to be added with just two days to yes. go. Tremendous play by you. Yeah, yes. thank you. And uh, one one final question before before you leave. Uh, you were playing against uh, Anish yesterday and you did not play the night orf against him. What was the reason for that? Well, I have the many opening ideas, you know, that were born out of the lockdown. And I thought, you know, I'm not obligated to play the knight of anymore i can play the Kawakan. i can even play as a berlin like everyone so you know I, i'm allowed to to play you know uh, well i wouldn't say less tense games because my game against anish was very tense as well but uh, yeah to have yeah. some uh, luxury of choice let's say true true you you will you check his scores he's made on the knight of um well he he advised me to check it out but i didn't have the time yet okay in next year maybe 2021 yes okay maxim it was fantastic soumya do you have any questions for maxim no i'm i no no thank you so much for analyzing this game with us maxim it was really yeah. pleasure is mine and it was a pleasure to actually watch it live and analyze it so i wish you good luck for tomorrow and the rest of the games Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Maxi. See you. Bye.